Hello guys, it's Tracker man. Welcome back to another prediction video, man. So Arsenal versus Burnley, man, in the second game of the Premier League. Um, this game should be very interesting, man. Arsenal at home, their first home game. Uh, Burnley beat. Who they beat, bro? I believe who they beat, man. They won. They won, though. I believe Watford. I'm not. I don't think it's Watford, but they beat somebody, bro. Really, really bad. I was surprised that they win by so many goals, man. But yeah, Burnley. Um, they have a striker that had been scoring well. Yeah, they beat Southampton 3-0, bro, in the opening game. Very surprised by that, man. Your striker, Barnes, bro. Barnes, Ashley Barnes, bro, he was on fire. Um, so, yeah, man, both teams has won. Burnley looking very good um, offensively and defensively. So, this should be a very interesting game. Arsenal win their first game versus um, Newcastle 1-0. So, wasn't the best game for them. There's a few plays missing. Um... Um, like this, uh, Mr. Hudson, Socrates, uh, and uh, close next to missing because of security concern for those guys. And uh, a few players are earned, and a few players are coming off um, vacation, man. So it's pretty much um, both teams, um, Arsenal in particular, missing a lot of key players. Uh, and there's some question mark around these guys. So yeah, Tierney has been um, out for a minute. Pretty much gonna come back like in, by mid mid September. He's doubtful for this game, but. I don't see him playing or in the starting 11 at all or the substitution bench and uh yeah it should be a very interesting game and so the last time these two teams the last six match between these two teams arsenal has pretty much won all of them arsenal has been like the best team and arsenal always beat burnley i believe the last game of last season was versus burnley arsenal won at one three one and arsenal have won their last 10 yeah 10 matches versus burnley bro the last 10 time they played burnley they have won all their games, man. Scoring at least, winning by at least a goal or more versus Burnley. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, man. So, Arsenal is a top goal scoring team, bro. And they're pretty much undefeated in the last 18 home games, bro. 18 home games, they're pretty much undefeated in, bro. The last 18 home games, they, um, 17 of those, they're undefeated in, man. So, Arsenal do have a good home record, but they just struggle on the, on the road. They struggle on the road, man. Will it be Burnley, man? We're going to find out. Uh, this should be a very interesting game. I, I could see Pepe starting, bro. Aubameyang, Lacazette. That'd be a killer front three, bro. Defense, probably what we got to worry about. But it should be a very interesting game. Um, so, yeah, man. So, players that are missing from this game for Arsenal is um, Hector Bellerin. He's uh, more than like he's going to come back next month or even October. Hopefully next month. Hopefully it's sooner better for Hector, um, Hector Bellerin. And uh, Mavropanos, he pretty much not going to feature that too much for Arsenal, but he's out with an injury, man. This guy always hurt. And uh, Mame Helene, pretty much coming back from like um, African Cup of Nations, so he's going to be out for um, a while. I'm not sure if Arsenal is going to sell him or what's going on with him or even loan him up, but um, right, he's pretty much unfit right now. Uh, Mr. Hustle, Carlos and Nightman, I talked about them earlier. Um, not sure if they're going to feature for this game, pretty much security concern still around those players and uh rob olden pretty much he's doubtful for this game more than like he's not going to start until like september and uh same with kieran tierney's out with a groin injury not really going to start until like september man so also missing a lot of plays bro for um so far and uh yeah man uh for for burley uh steven the foray the belgium player he's out with an injury and uh robbie brady is out with an injury and um who else they have one more plays out with an injury um charlie taylor man both bradley uh brady and uh taylor is pretty much doubtful for this game uh still could feature but doubtful for this game uh for arsenal they're gonna go with a 4-3-3 formation they're gonna go with uh burn leno in goal um monreal on the left side socrates or david Luiz or uh, Chambers, bro. It's between David Luiz and uh, um, uh, Column Chambers as uh, center back and uh, Maitland Niles as the right back. Maitland Niles made it into the um, t the Premier League team of the week last week. At least the whole score version as right back. So he was definitely the best right back last week. He had assists that led to the Arsenal winning that game. To, um, Aubameyang scoring that goal in that um, Arsenal versus Newcastle game. Uh, in midfield, we're going to go with Asibayas, man. I think we're going to finally see Danny Sibayas, uh starting for Arsenal. Either him or Wilcock. Wouldn't be surprised either or. And um, Shaka and uh, Gwendozi. Or even this guy might be Batman. Um, what's his name? We can see Shaka and uh, um, Torreira 
but more than likely it's gonna be um yeah yeah shaka or we could see shaka shaka definitely gonna be there but it could be anybody between Wilcock, um tierney or guendozi or Sibias man in midfield Arsenal have an option in midfield which is good even El Nene you never know and uh, up top we're gonna go Aubameyang on the left side I know Emery don't really want to play these two guys together man but they have to it's about the end time Aubameyang like I said and um, what's his name uh, Pepe I think we're finally gonna see Pepe not make a tearing or even uh, Riz Nelson would be surprised Riz Nelson start this game too man so it should be a very interesting game um, would love to see Pepe start though Pepe and David Luiz starting Arsenal definitely gonna be able to win this game but it should be a very very interesting game because Arsenal do have a good win record versus Burnley hopefully they can continue that and uh, for Burnley bro um, they're gonna go with a 4-4-2 formation and uh, we go with a Pope in goal on um, Peters uh, Peters on the left side he was phenomenal in so far uh, probably was one of the left, uh, best left back in the game last week um, me and uh, Tarkowski, uh, Tarkowski as his two center back and uh, Lowton on the right side as a right um, as a right back uh, midfield we're gonna go with McNeil, um, Westwood, Cork and uh, God Monson man uh, Good Monson, Good Monson um, in midfield Good Monson was phenomenal in last week game bro very very key player in last week game and he has a great um, he's on great form so far and up top we're gonna go with Woods and Barnes, bro. Barnes phenomenal, bro. Scored, I believe, like two goals or an attrick in that game last week, man. So he was phenomenally, very, very good in last week game, man. So yeah, I see Arsenal win this uh, two zero or a two one win for Arsenal, bro. Um, would be very shocked if it ended in a win or a draw for uh, Burnley, but I see a two zero win or a two one win for Arsenal. I think Pepe gonna start. I think Pepe gonna get an assist. And uh, Aubameyang, like I said, going to score the goals, man. But like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Let me know what team you support, man, Arsenal or Burnley. Let me know where you think these two teams are going to finish in the Premier League table. And with that, you boys out here.